Hello, I'm Morris Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm stepping up to beam reinforcement. And let's get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, you'll be able to see a model already done. This is the model actually we are going to reinforce, but particularly on the beams. But now we want to change the render. We To change the render, just pick on the rendering here. And also you can go to uh, the main key, uh, I mean the keyboard and, pre and press control 2 and we can change this to transparent so that we can be able to see whatever will, will be happening inside when we are doing our reinforcement. You'll be able to see how the steel is arranged inside than when it is like this. This way you will not be able to see anything. But when it's transparent like that by pressing control 2 you'll be able to reorganize or rearrange your steel properly inside the beam. Now to do that once the beams are uh, already in place once you're done with the beams the next thing is to place your steel or fix your rebars inside we've done with the columns which are, i think at the moment you're familiar or uh, you're familiar or it is not a very big a task to perform now we are going to do to reinforce our beam i mean our beams we'll go straight away to on my left so when you hover your cursor on this button you'll be able to see you'll be able to read that application and, and components so we just click on that button and this will bring this applications and component dialog box from here you can just type you just type rebars and uh, we go straight to this rebar in beams numerically known as 90 you can also just type that 90 and uh, this option will come up now with this macro we are going to this macro is going to provide us with the, uh, all the options on how we can rearrange rebars on our beams. And uh, remember, we, I'm going to show you how to crank uh, the beams, mainly at, the, at our main joints here. Now, I'll just click on that. Then the moment I've clicked on that uh, macro, I'll pick on the part I want to uh to to reinforce i want to reinforce this beam then i'll pick on it then i want to define the position where i want my reinforcement to start from and end now i'll want it to start from this position here i'll zoom close then i'll snap on that spot then zoom out and st and stretch to this end i want all uh, i mean uh, reinforcement to start from that uh, uh, point to end wind at this point here then I'll, uh, I'll just snap right here right there I'll right click and uh, click interrupt right there to terminate that command of beam reinforcement now let me just turn this round because you can see a crank at, at this at this at, at this column then another crank at this end mainly at uh, at the, uh, mainly at these columns now let me just double click on on the steel bars and show you how to rearrange or uh, rearrange or to customize these steel arrangement inside the beam now i'll just i'll double click on it this will uh, bring uh, uh, the beam this will bring the dialog box where we'll be able to customize our steel rebars or rebars inside our beam this is the the dialog box for rebar in beam dialog box from here we'll be able to reorganize all or to rearrange the steel to match our preference of steel arrangement inside our beams now primary bottom bars we have uh, tabs here, primary bottom bars, we have primary top bars, we have side left, and we have the side right, and we have startups, uh, stirrups, I mean. So the main tabs that we will be using are these, one, two, three, four, and five. These are the main ones that we'll, we are going to use. Now, let's start with the primary bottom bars at the primary bottom bars we have the the grid of steel right there and the size of the steel i i, I picked i picked at the bottom hand end here i picked size 16 and also you can change that to 
the appropriate size you prefer. So the moment you, pl you, you click on this radio button at, at uh, the size or to pick the appropriate size for your steel bars, bottom steel bars, this will take you to select reinforcing bar dialog box. From here you can pick the appropriate size and also grade you can define. Now, end conditions, just leave them at default. These are the bands that will, appl uh, will apply at the end, at the far end of your bar. Just leave it at default right there. Or if you can just click on that drop down arrow, you can see the, t uh, the, the typical bands that are available here. But uh, at this moment, we don't want any bend. We just need a straight, a straight bend, but at no angle of 90 or 180 or 45. Same will, will apply at the end conditions right. Now, if you, uh, if you come to creation method here, just click on that drop down arrow and we'll pick on number of bars. This, our, our, our arrangement will be defined by number of bars. Then we come down here, we have a crank on my left and a crank of the bottom bar at my, or on my right here. So if I change this crank, or here I'll, I'll take you on variety of uh, steel arrangements on the bottom bar tab. Now, if I click this uh, uh, drop down arrow right here, this will take me to these options. I can scroll and pick the appropriate option of my choice. But today I want just to show you how to work out with the, with the crank uh, or how to crank uh, your bar at uh, at the main joints now we have two types of cranks here option one option one sticks to the length defined when uh, length defined when you are defining the points to start your steel bar reinforcement from this will be defined with the with that length but this one you can mod you can uh, customize or you can uh, manipulate how how much you want this stretch to go so if you pick this option you can you can be able to go to C and uh, define how much do you want this steel bar to stretch from this end maybe you want this to stretch five meters or six meters it's upon you now I'll go back to my in initial to my in initial arrangement by just clicking on empty screen and I just go back to uh, I'll just go back and double click on that and this will bring will take me back to my previous arrangement now here we are at the bottom bars another option is down here you can either pick this option of your choice but we are we stick with the bottom end we are working at the bottom end bar arrangement then we have this side let me just change this so that you, you you can see what you can see whatever i'm talking about i can switch back to this arrangement and click up, uh, modify that is on the other end and we can do the same thing here and uh, click on that and click modify There we are. Now we, are, we, we, no, we no longer have the crank at, at uh, this end of this column. Now I'll just undo everything. I'll just undo everything. And this will take me back to, uh, this, uh, to, I mean, to this point. Now on the crank, we are still on the cranks here. Now on this end, you can be able to adjust you can be able to adjust how you can be able to adjust the length of this hook 
by feeding the appropriate measurement right there maybe you want to 100 right there and you can click modify and that will actually change in accordance to that description that the the left one has changed L let's try and change the right one the right hand side and wait let's wait and see you can see that has uh, uh, has shortened up to 100 uh, millimeter length we'll just take it back to 200 to 200 and also this end also we take it to 200 and we'll click uh, we'll uh, click uh, modify now that is uh, how to adjust the length of your hook now uh, the gap the gap between the steel and the formwork the gap between the steel and the formwork is manipulable you can manipulate that from this end now to adjust the distance between the formwork and the steel that one we you can change that from this end you can uh, click on this you can change this either to 50 yes now to change the distance or to modify or to or to feed in the appropriate distance between your steel and the formwork that is manipulatable from here you can either fit 50 right there and uh, let me just bring this close so, so that you can be able to see what's happen what's happening to this this steel arrangement here i can click i can change this to 50 then uh, click modify There we are. It has changed the position. It has, it has gone closer to our formwork. Now let's take it right to the center by feeding 100 right there and feeding 100 right there. And we'll go ahead and click modify. Want to bring the two uh, two main bottom bars at the in, at the middle of the beam. Now there we are. And this is how to you can cl just click on on this drop down arrow on and pick on the appropriate arrangement or on the appropriate hook like that then let me just switch uh, switch to primary top bars on primary top bars is this one this one and this one what i did here i just went straight away and picked this and picked this position now I, I, I got rid of the the cranks instead of the cranks and picked or I, I picked I picked all these positions then I switched to the top bar I, p I picked on these top bars option there we are and uh, I defined I defined my lens here I think this you're familiar with then I went straight to side left. Then uh, went to went to side right. From here, I was able to change all this. I think you can use my settings here to adjust your own. Now, having done that, let me just close this. Let me just close this. I'll close that. Then what I'll do, let me just close everything right here. Then what I'm going to do uh, is just to use the same same settings to to duplicate the same type of reinforcement in the next beam. I'll just pick on that. Then I'll define the points in which I want to I want my reinforcement to start from. I want to start from that spot from that spot and stretch all the way to the full length of this beam i'll just snap right here right there and pick and do the same thing here I'll, snap, I'll pick on this and uh, i'll define the length of my reinforcement i'll start from this end i'll start from that end and i'll go all the way to this end i'll go all the way to this end right here i'll snap on that spot perfect now I'll right click and exit from that I want just to show you that briefly 
this is how it looks this is how the arrangement looks and now let me just take you to st stir ups arrangement let me just double click and go to stir ups arrangement show you how to arrange that using this macro of riba in beam now if you come to stir ups here we we'll just come to stir ups We come to stir ups here and uh, what we are going straight to is, is, is the same same thing grade h uh, grade h you can d define or you can pick on the appropriate size of your steel and uh, you can also pick on the appropriate angle bend angle and the length of, of your hook here i fed 50 and uh, type of, of stir up type of stir ups you can come here and click on this drop down arrow and you'll be able to pick on uh, on the type of stir up if you want double star or uh, double star difference i've worked with a single stir up and this is a type of stir up i prefer i picked on that and also here you can manipulate the length of your hook from here and also this you can define uh, center to center or the span or how wide you want our uh, your bottom uh, you are you are still up to stretch from the bottom bar to the top bar and also the distance from the bar steel bar and the formwork is as simple as that the key tabs that we will be using is, is these ones the bottom the primary bottom bars and the primary top bars and the side left and the side right and the steer up the, the rest i know that really important now from that spot let me just switch back and show you how the arrangement looks once you've you've uh, invoked that macro and you've made the appropriate settings and this is how it looks let me just click on this and turn this round perfect and from that spot i'll wind up and uh, let's meet then on the next presentation we'll be working on um, two-way slab and one-way slab on on how to reinforce two-way and one-way slab i'll right click and uh, click interrupt just to get off this macro uh, get off this uh, beam reinforcement let me just turn this round so that we can have a clear look on this. This is how it looks. Uh, thanks and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel. And let's meet then. I'm Maurice Limba. Once again, bye-bye and let's meet on the next presentation.